One of the first things the player does in Journey to the Savage Planet is choose a picture of themselves to prove they're not insane. Because the game has a sense of humor, and because it was an option, I chose the dog and thought no more about it. As I was exploring the alien landscape, there would be grunts and groans of the animals around me, and I would often look behind just to make sure nothing hostile was about to attack. It was only when I got hurt in a fight that it clicked. A lot of the grunts were coming from me. When I got hurt, I whined. When I ran, I gruffed. I had chosen the dog. I was the dog in human form. I appreciate how much the game sticks to its jokes. It's more subtle than the AI companion always cracking wise. When I found my first fast travel node, an alien teleportation device, I was a long way from my ship. I had recently acquired the double jump and I was traveling as far as the game would allow. There were barriers that required the flesh of the cute little creatures hopping around and after passing through a few of these, I found myself closer to the base of the massive towering cliff that greets the player as the game's title makes itself known. Before I knew there was fast travel, I kept in the back of my mind that I was a long way from my ship, but because there were no barriers I couldn't cross, I wanted to see how far I could explore before I would have to turn back. I found out quite a ways actually, and this wasn't the only path I could have taken either. For all its comedy, I think Journey to the Savage Planet nails the wonder of exploration and the fear of venturing too far from a safe space. Every time the player returns to the ship, a video starts playing. Sometimes it advances the plot, but mostly it's a bunch of goofy advertisements to laugh at and sell the commercial nature of this world and the expedition. Now, I don't know if it's just a power setting on my laptop or a video driver problem, but every time these videos played, the frame rate tanked. It went into the low single digits. When it came back, the audio and video were desynced. Even if I ignored the video screens and went to the upgrade machine, the dips would still happen. It interrupted my enjoyment of the game. Luckily, this never occurred out in the world, otherwise I don't think I would have persevered, as it was the most frustrating aspect of my playthrough. So, would I recommend Journey to the Savage Planet? No. I enjoy the exploration, the look of the world, and some of the humor, but the game feels more like a fun diversion rather than a must-play. <laughs> Maybe I would feel differently if the videos had played properly in the ship. Technical faults can impact our enjoyment of a game more than we'd like to admit, but that doesn't mean we get to be savage when we talk about it.